Diambo is a second year design student at the University of Nairobi and I'm also a fine artist, um, an illustrator and a graphic designer. I've been doing realism now but I'm getting much into hyperrealism. Hyperrealism is that art of producing an image or a photo as close as possible to its own self. I started with drawing basic faces and the more they looked like the images, the more satisfied I got. I didn't know I'm an artist until when I was informed to. <laughs> that is strange, but that's the reality because I used to be very good at drawing maps and science apparatus in primary school, but getting into fine art was something that came to me when I was in Form 2, actually, when I joined a new high school, and art was among the subjects so far. When I was a new student there, I was somehow idle, so I got a book and started scribbling images of people. And surprisingly enough, they, they came out better than what the art students then were, do, were doing. When the art teacher saw what I was doing, I was then a computer student. He shifted me from that class to his own. Yeah. So, and from then on, taught me, gave me all the encouragement I needed. And uh, it's been a progressive journey of trial and error, practice and prayer and all that, yeah, up to where I am right now. I didn't find someone who does the exact art artwork that I do until Valentine's Day when I had an, an exhibition with Jimmy Curtis, that is. Yeah. yeah, I had an exhibition alongside him and his, his artwork really inspired me. Actually, he only had four items on display and it was like we were the only people who were doing realism or a combination of message plus realistic artworks yeah that really inspired me and uh, i'd really love to get to a point where we can work alongside each other i could say a very large number of most professional and well-known paintings are done with oil on canvas so i thought this is maybe the peak of painting so i moved into oil on canvas and uh, all the artworks that i've done this year are oil on canvas well all the paintings they are charcoal drawings and stuff uh, but then I realized there's more to art than, than purely painting. You can fuse collage and painting, you can fuse mosaic and painting, drawing and painting. Uh, I learned that from Jimmy Curtis, by the way. One challenge we experience as realists in Kenya specifically is that the modern art, art lovers uh, market does not appreciate what we do. We are trying to promote classical art using traditional media. There is a good thing that we are getting this fusion of, of traditional and modern. Yeah, but I think the Kenyan market needs to open up to all forms of art, not just abstraction and, and abstract art. Art is expensive because it needs inputs and, uh, and the further you grow, or uh, the more you grow, the more expensive the artworks you produce become. See, when you're starting and you're practicing with A4s and a 3 you just buy a one sketch for 300 shillings and stuff, but you see when you're going to such large pieces, it, it turns from a, from a hobby to an investment. Yeah, you have to sacrifice a lot when financially, time-wise, and all that. Yeah, it takes a lot of sacrifice with time. Another challenge is exposure. So you'll find that the Kenyan media, specifically, if you, look, if you look at art, art is a very wide scope. It's not just limited to fine arts, and, and we have music, we have just the project fame for music, Sakata for dancers, the church and show for comedians and stuff, but it's very rare to, to find one such equal or, uh, or one equivalent of such programs for fine artists. Most artists, most artists who are still on the rise practice what we do out of self-drive. There are also guaranteed art exhibitions that, that nowadays appear every year. We have the Kenya Art Fair, for example. You know it's going to be there in November. Uh, we have art, we have art galleries and and art museums. For example, we have Kona Trust Five Two Five Four. All those are art bodies whose sole purpose is to promote art. art. So as often as possible, they will hold exhibitions here and there. I was position three last year in the in the African Fund for Endangered Wild, Wildlife Painting Competition. Um, I was among the shortlisted candidates for the Manzano competition of, of depicting Nairobi the way you see it as an artist. Then early this year I was also, I was also position one in the Life in Color art competition. Competing with different artists and winning does not mean your artwork is better than any of theirs. Yeah, there is the judges preferences. So, so it does not mean that I'm better than them or anyone is better than anyone else. 
is something that you get to know one thing is you get to know more artists and you connect a lot there's a lot of networking that goes around in competitions and in exhibitions actually the more you participate the more your name gets spread uh, spread out there forget the disappointments do not consider them as very big milestones they are very easy to to maneuver through uh, art is all about experimentation that's another thing i could tell my fellow artists the more you practice the more you get to grow and go for what challenges you. You know, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't grow you.